and we are back with another episode because I said fuck it, why not? Anyways, grab your popcorn chips, whatever you want to eat, and let's get this done. Oh wow, nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Sparta Farm? I lie. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Find anything good up there? Those mm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Okay, 
Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? What for? <sighs> Those things are everywhere. Hey, did that geyser up there just get stronger? When you throw the geyser, the pressure must have changed for the ones around it. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well. All too often, people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither Valir. Brother, look, that strange bugger popped back out of the ground again. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Father, up there. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. You can uncover that geyser from here. Oh, 
I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Else we can hit. Hey, nice one. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the other brothers. Hey, towards. Oh. They're uh running away. An alarm. I only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, can we, we talk to you for trouble, a... Please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Poor feel. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. 
taking advantage of certain materials. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it going to be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Ah. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlers in the air. How was I supposed to know they were there? Behind you! Okay, so... Zerla. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Tell me. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Could you maybe... No! Thank you! Yeah. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Good yeah, point, though. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently. Intruders about. 
Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, you're planning on killing me. At least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Mamiya, why do the dwarves hate you? Oh, in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I helped build some mining rigs. What about them? They're a mistake of mine, from quite a long time ago. If you've got the time, I'd have us turn them off. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Another one of those geysers, but huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We can see it fine from here. Taking a break before visiting Durland? Very wise. He can be... a lot. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, 
Could you One bring of the mining rigs here? You find? See the I smoke above the us? That's where we're headed. <laughs> Let's see if we can shut it down. <laughs> Like they chock a block with materials that can help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They need their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. <laughs> what you just picked up there is pure Spartalfine <laughs> ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it.
father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? <laughs> yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Is that pure Spartalfime slag? Give it here. What can I make for you? Hey. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Be safe! Nothing appeals to you? No, it's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I... I said like to say you're wrong. Behind the door. A prisoner of sorts. Where did these springs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. What stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. 
All the other people they've hurt. Enough. We will continue later. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. <clears throat> Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. It's got to be the right spot. Battles. I smell a fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Hayar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, that looks right. Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stone and sword and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet. <laughs> One less feathery spy. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Oh, whoa. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Enough. We will continue later. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. Oh! Fritz, 
That gear. Looks like it would freeze. <laughs> Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. Break through the ground from up there? We're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Enough. We will continue later. I knew we'd left something behind. I'll disinfect my tools. Well, if you change your mind... Can you hear that? No. Thought 
I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna record one more episode for tonight, and we will talk to you guys in the next video. And if you guys do like this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more of this awesome content. We will be right back.